And can you see like the little particles in there? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these copper bolus capsules look like, what's on the inside of them. So as you can see, they're just little bitty particles of copper. But well, we're gonna demonstrate how to give a copper bolus. All right, this little buckling is not where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be in a pasture by himself, so, or a pasture with a bunch of other bucklings, so I'm gonna attempt to rope him. Got him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kikos. I'm Audra. I'm Josh. I'm Brody. And uh, today, what we got going on is, uh, it is time to pull the does away from the kids. We've already taken the buck kids out, and you can see that these does are getting pulled down. The nutrition is finally here in the grass. You can see behind me, everything is greening up. And what we're going to do is, we're going to copper bolus these goats. So our area is deficient in copper. Uh, we've had it soil tested and uh, we give high trace mineral with uh, high traces of copper and it's just not enough for these goats. These goats need that copper bolus. And I wanna show you how we give the copper bolus, the gun we use, I wanna show you guys that. I'm gonna link this in the description and uh, show you how we go about giving these copper boluses to the goats. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss another video. So, since the soil is deficient in copper, and 50% uh, of, the, of the U.S. is deficient in copper, and uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to get them copper boluses, and they come in two different sizes. You got a four uh, milligram, then you got a two milligram. The four milligram is for 25 pounds and up, 25 and lower is for the younger goats, the smaller. But you're going to see in these uh, little bitty copper boluses, they're just little bitty granulars of copper. And uh, what that does is the goat, we put it in their system, it's a pill. And you can only imagine what it's like trying to give a kid a pill. These goats, they need help getting that down. Uh, and if you don't have the right thing to get it down, I've seen where they've used uh, bananas and other treats. We don't give our goats treats, so uh, we have to use a syringe type gun to give it to them. I'm gonna go over here and show you that. But um, what we'll do is load this gun up I'm gonna show you some things to look for in these goats that'll help you uh, determine if they need it or not. We typically do this once a year since we know our area is deficient in copper. The minerals just aren't enough and uh, this will really help out a bunch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these copper bolus capsules look like, what's on the inside of them. So as you can see, they're just little bitty particles of copper. So this is one of the older ones that we have. Um, take a good look at it. As you can see though, whenever you, you go to give them the copper bolus shot, whenever you push the trigger, it just stays there. So you have to manually pull it back. And so let me show you, um, let me, we, do, we did get another one. So let me show you what that one looks like. So it's this red one. Okay, kind of same concept as you can see. Okay, so whenever you push the trigger on this one, it has a it has a kickback by itself. Yeah, a little spring in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to load this with the copper bolus capsule. I don't know if you can see on the inside of there, but there is something that's gonna help hold the capsule in. So you're gonna put the capsule in like so. Just gonna push it in there, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the goat's mouth. You're gonna put this to the back of the throat. Once you've gotten into the back of the throat, you're gonna pull the trigger. It's gonna release the capsule like that. You'll pull this out. And then what we typically do sometimes is just rub the neck just to make sure that the pill has gone down. All right, guys. So I've got a little group of does in here um, and you're gonna see uh, their body condition is not as good. Some are, some's a little better than others. Of course, they just come out of winter. We just pulled kids off of them. You're gonna notice though that their hair is 
not shiny. Some of them are shorter than others, but you're gonna notice that the hair needs a little attention. And uh, one thing with the copper deficiency, like this goat right here, her hair coat is kind of long and wiry compared to a goat like this. Her hair is kind of short. It's getting ready for summer. So other things you want to look for is a fish tail. Uh, the hair will look like a fish tail. That's copper deficiency sign. Um, and what we're going to do is you're going to see over at my place, my grass is lush. It's time to pull these girls off the does that they was on. And uh, I'm going to take them over to my place, kick them out. But we're going to demonstrate how to give a copper bolus. All right, so uh, Brody's gonna do it. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna help him with their mouth, hold it open. All right. Go ahead, Brody. Back towards the back of the mouth, release it. And then just kinda, you can feel that. And you just wanna rub that down to make sure that she got that bolus. That's it. So, it's as simple as that. With this type of gun, it's not that long blue thing. With this type of gun, you can put it in their mouth, get it in there, and just release it. Make sure it gets in there. You can actually feel the pill in the throat and just kind of help push that down so you know that they got it. These guns work really good. I get a lot of comments about these. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to link this in the description of where to find it. They're worth it. Um, lots, like I said earlier, 50% of the American soil in the United States is copper deficient. So that's a big key in having healthy goats. A thing that you're not going to notice is overnight, you're not going to see these goats uh, just all of a sudden look better. It takes time. It's a slow release capsule and it's going to take a month or so. You'll start noticing how much better the goat will look. You'll see a lot shinier coat. You'll see a lot healthier goat and uh, it just takes time for it to work. So we're going to uh, capture the rest of these, give them the bolus, load them on the side by side, and take them to some greener pastures. So on this goat right here, uh, it's not as bad, but you can see her, fit, her tail is kinda starting to have that fish tail look. I know for a fact that this goat right here, she slicks off really nice, and this copper bolus will help get her there. Go ahead. There's a... Go ahead. Towards the back. There you go. All the way in. <laughs> Close, buddy. There you go. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Head back. There you go. You can feel that right there. Can you feel it? Did it go down? She swallowed it. Did it go down? Yeah, she swallowed it. You can tell on this goat, uh, she's still got that winter coat. We want her to shed this off and what that uh, copper bolus will do, it'll give her the copper she needs to have, make her have a healthy, shiny coat. All right, so uh, we've got them all done but one, uh, and we've done this really quick, really simple, really efficient. Grab them, put it in their throat, release the capsule, it goes right down. Uh, the other way, with that other stick, it was very complicated. It was not made for goats, so uh, I highly recommend getting this if you're going to be copper bolusing. we got one more to do. We're going to knock her out, and then uh, I noticed this black doe right here. Underneath our jaw is getting a little loose and I'm gonna give her some wormer. So uh, before we take her to my place, we're gonna get, hit her with the wormer. We're gonna check her eyelid, make sure it's okay. And uh, we'll be heading over to my house to kick these goats out. See how white that eyelid is? She is, uh, she's anemic right now. Mm -hmm. So she's got this loose underneath her jaw. That wormer. That copper bolus is really going to help her out a bunch. And then taking these kids off of her, putting her on fresh grass, is really going to help her out too.
All right, so you've seen us uh, get the boluses and then bring them over here. You can see over here, we have plenty to graze over here. So these does are gonna stay over here for a little while and uh, graze this down and then we'll take them back. Uh, but we're gonna kick them out, put them with the rest of those that are here now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this video out. We hope that you found these tips helpful. We appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye. So we're gonna go ahead and close the video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go again. Why'd you miss him? Alright, this little buckling. It's not where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be in a pasture by himself, so, or a pasture with a bunch of other bucklings, so I'm gonna attempt to rope him. Got him. All right, let's pick him up and hold him. You drive, you drive over to the gate. 